Hi everyone, welcome back. Yesterday, I posted a video of me featuring the pianist Yan Yi talking about Round and Round, which is um, a solo piece for piano that I wrote for the album Melodies of Life. And today, we'll be talking about Chirming, which is another solo piano piece that I wrote for this album. For the piece Chirming, the first thing I think of instantly is the word Zen. And when I play this piece, I have to choose the right tempo because this piece started off with few notes and in the middle section onwards there's a lot of notes going on between both hands so if I started off too fast then I will be having problems to create a whole zen mood in the middle section onwards and so I will make sure that I play every note's value accurately and the second thing is very important is the use of pedal I can't really tell you which exactly bar that I need to change and which beats that I change my pedal because it's all depending on my playing of that moment and then so overall the most that I pay attention to is my tempo and also the use of pedal so that I can create a whole zen mood for this piece. Chermin is the Malay word for mirror and when we look at the mirror we see our reflections but with human nature sometimes when we look in the mirror, we don't exactly see just our reflection. Sometimes we see the perception that we have of ourselves. That means um, for people that are extremely confident of themselves, they might look in the mirror and see someone amazing. Uh, for someone that is feeling very depressed, when they look into the mirror, they might hate what they see in that mirror. And you know, and anything in between. So we tend to see something more than just our reflection when we look in the mirror. Um, when I wrote this piece, I have the idea of wanting to create a retrograde motion in the composition. So this second half, the entire second half of Chermin is a complete retrograde of the first half, meaning that the second half of the music is actually just moving in reverse from the first half. So. Uh, basically, the music starts from here and then it goes until here, it reaches the middle part and then it just go back. Um, so the last few bars or the last few measures of the music that you hear is actually exactly the same as the first few measures of the first few bars at the start of the music. It's just that they are moving in reverse. So um, to put it in a different way, if I use alphabet, so you have A, B, C, D, E. And then the second half will be, uh, it start from E, D, C, B, A. So you have A, B, C, D, E, E, D, C, B, A. So that's kind of like the, the movement of German. The second half of the music is uh, the reflection of the first half. But at the same time, it didn't sound the same. And that's kind of like, re, um, that's kind of like showing you that, that idea that I told you just now where that when people look in the mirror, they might not just see their reflection, they see something else, depending on how that person feels about themselves. So that's kind of like the idea of having the retrograde for the second half of the music. And on top of that, I also use pentatonic scale, to be more specific, gamelan scale. Because I wanted to combine, I wanted to fuse the um, Western music ideas, which is the retrograde, which is something that I learned from a Western history um, course that I took back when I was studying. And also I want to include something that is from my culture, from, from my part of the world. And the first that came to my mind was Gamelan, because, um, well, traditionally Gamelan is from Indonesia, but the ensemble and the music traveled to Malaysia and then it developed and has um, a Malaysian style Gamelan. And then I thought that, okay, it would be very interesting to write um, a music that is, instead of, instead of thinking of it in a major and minor way, and chords, progressions and stuff like that, I thought that it would be interesting to just think of this in a pentatonic scale. So the result from that is that I ended up with this zen atmospheric music that you can possibly meditate to or do yoga to. And that's kind of like the idea that I have as well because I want to create balance in the music. I want it to be balanced, having the same amount of bars in the first half and second half, having the same amount of notes in the first half and the second half, 
and I achieved that and with the addition of the pentatonic with the uh, with the addition of the gamelan skill I got this really nice zen balance in life it's kind of like the yin and the yang isn't it when you have the yin and the yang you have a balanced life so it's kind of like um, that that's kind of like the the mission that I wanted to I wanted to give with Chermin. So unlike round and round where it is more of that inner emotion that we feel, Chermin is more about the atmosphere of achieving balance in life. And and it's very I, I find it very very soothing, very relaxing and it's I find it really fun to just write in pentatonic scale and try to have the second half moving in backwards from the first half because it's not as easy as it sounds because whatever work walk, uh, moving this way didn't necessarily work going that way which is what I, what I, I experienced so and then when I change something in the second half to make it sound nicer and then when I change I have to change the first half as well and when that happens suddenly I don't like how the first half sound like so again even even when I'm writing this I needed to find a balance something that can work in both ways when you're going this way and then when you're going back in reverse and I find and it was a really great experience for me writing this I, I learned a lot for sure and it was also actually a great fun and even when I hear Yan Yi play it it's just um, it's, it's really enjoyable for me it's really soothing for me it really gives me that sense of serenity and I hope when you listen to it you can feel it as well Thank you for watching.